Hi, I hope you're fine and doing well. So if you want to become an Upwork buyer or uh, you want to hire talent on Upwork, then it's very simple. You need to come on this URL upwork.com and then simply click on get started once you will click here then you need to select a uh, type of your account so you want to be be a freelancer or upwork uh, client so let's say you are definitely client so then you can continue here are two options you can continue with your ids already logged in account or you can fill this information suppose i can just click on my google account and i can pick the information uh, suppose that i can select this account and uh, let's see what would happen next so definitely they will create our account very quickly without uh, filling that form so i will agree with the, uh, these terms and that's it they are creating my account as a buyer So once I am there, there would be little setup process and uh, little details. So I will um, share with you and I will fill everything in front of you. So you can also do uh, this. This would be in few easy steps. This is not complex. So they were they are directing me to my account, newly settled account. Okay. So here I need to put the job title. Suppose that I can write a random job title. Let's say UX, UI, UI designer for my website. Okay. So this title, based on this title, they will match and they will give us some suggestion as well. So this title should be very clear uh, according to the job type so we can click on next here we need to choose some skills so what skills specifically you don't need to choose all because their algorithm is working so web design uh, maybe uh, I need user experience designer and user interface designer and uh, what else suppose that the prototyping as well so there, there are three four tags Okay, fine, I can also search here. Suppose that I also need someone who is good in Figma. So I can add Figma expert as well. So go next. So here I need to add the type. So based on this, even the freelancers would be selected if he has, uh, uh, he can work on this project. And suppose that my project medium size, it can go from one month to three months. Uh, I need what type of freelancer I need. I need maybe expert level. Good, good to go. Next, here there are two. This is very tricky, very technical. They are suggesting me normally for this type of work, uh, $35, $40, whatever, the $60. In this way, they can go, we can start minimum with $10. So this is hourly rate if we go with hourly but suppose that I have my fixed budget, I can click here and I can type, okay, to $100, suppose that there is some very simple task. I can click next. And here I need to type my job description. I am looking for a, for a UX UI designer who <clears throat> who is expert in Figma and UX research as a I need him for multiple tasks from time to time. Okay. I can attach any file here if needed, but suppose that just for now I have added this information and review and job post. So this is my first job as a buyer. They are taking little time, but it's simple. It also depends on the network connection as well.
So you can see some examples from here as well. Okay, perfect. So my job is almost completed. I can review or I can post it. So if you just review the job, so here is what I have created. Here is my job title. Here is my description. I can update. These are my tags. This is a scope budget and let's post it. When I click on post my job, congratulations on your first job post. It's being posted, done. And now what? What next? My job is posted. I need to maybe invite the talent. Maybe they will suggest me. Okay, they are suggesting me based on my title tags. These are the freelancers, right? I can invite them and they will get invited and they will apply on it, right? But at the same time, what I need to do is I don't want to invite these, but maybe I want to invite someone who I already know him. I don't want to add. So you can do payment with simply MasterCard or PayPal or whatever you have. So you can select here and you can connect. For now, I'm just going to skip it and uh, let's move next. So here, uh, industry, I will skip it and uh, maybe I, need, I, I can answer, but for now, I'm going to skip it. Okay. Here, this is my job uh, post and let's make it uh, uh, private. This is the status is public. If I want to invite specific person, you can invite the talent here. But if you want to invite specific person, then you can make it private, simple. This is very important. You can click invite only. So here you will find uh, invite freelancers. You already know, suppose that here, I want to invite someone. Suppose that this freelancer, I want to invite him. Suppose here, I want to invite this person. I can add him, I can uh, save him, but I can, I guess, save name, I can invite him. So invite would be sent to this freelancer. So this is the message, I can invite this message. So you, you simply need to invite those freelancers. First, make your job private and then invite them. They will accept, contract would be started. That's it, nothing complex. Thank you so much. If you have any question, then people will apply and you can uh, see different, uh, uh, like all the proposals on your job post, right? This is your job and you can see the, uh, and uh, you can perform any other action that you want, right? If you will hire someone, if you someone accept your invite and you will hire and then you will get the notification here, hired. Uh, you can review the proposal here, here you can invite. So now we are here. That's it. I believe now you can create your job post very easily and you can also create more jobs as well if you want. Thank you so much.